An African history of Africa, from the dawn of humanity to independent Sulsum to noble black news, where we explore the deep and rich history of Africa from an African perspective. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey from the dawn of humanity on African soil to the triumph of independence movements across the continent. This is the story of Africa, told by Africans for the world. The dawn of humanity. Africa is the cradle of humanity. Long before the rise of empires or kingdoms, it was on this continent that human life began. The oldest human fossils found in places like Ethiopia's Omo Valley date back 200,000 years. This is where Homo sapiens first evolved, making Africa the home of the earliest human societies and cultures. Africans were not only the first humans, they were the first innovators. From ancient stone tools found in Tanzania to early farming communities along the Nile River, Africans were developing technology, agriculture, and culture long before the rest of the world. Humanity's earliest civilizations were not just born in Africa, they thrived here. The great kingdoms and civilizations, as time passed, Africa saw the rise of powerful kingdoms and empires that shaped the continent and the world. The Kingdom of Egypt, one of the most iconic ancient civilizations, dominated the Nile Valley by 3000 BC. Egyptians were pioneers in science, mathematics, architecture, and medicine, building the awe-inspiring pyramids and temples that still stand today. Pharaohs like Hatshepsut and Ramses II became legendary rulers, and Egypt's influence spread far beyond its borders. But Egypt was not alone in its greatness. To the south, the kingdom of Kush in Nubia became a formidable rival. The Nubians ruled over Egypt during the 25th dynasty, and their legacy of pyramid building and gold trade left a lasting mark on African history. Nubians saw themselves not as Egypt's shadow, but as powerful leaders who extended their empire across vast regions of the continent. Meanwhile, in West Africa, the Ghana Empire rose to prominence between the 6th and 13th centuries. Known as the Land of Gold, Ghana controlled trade routes across the Sahara, connecting Africa's wealth with the Arab world. By the 14th century, the Mali Empire, under the legendary ruler Mansa Musa, surpassed Ghana in wealth and power. Mansa Musa, remembered as the richest man in history, put Mali on the global map when he embarked on a pilgrimage to Mecca, distributing gold generously and showcasing African prosperity, Africans as innovators and traders. Throughout the continent, Africans were master traders, scientists, and innovators. In East Africa, the Swahili city-states Kilwa, Zanzibar, and Mogadishu dominated the Indian Ocean trade by the 10th century. These cities were vibrant and wealthy, serving as major hubs of commerce, connecting Africa to the Middle East, India, and China. African merchants traded gold, ivory, and iron, and in return, they received silk, spices, and glassware from distant lands. But it wasn't just about trade, African cultures were intellectual powerhouses. In Timbuktu, during the height of the Mali Empire, scholars gathered to study philosophy, astronomy, and medicine at the famed Sankor University. The written manuscripts from this era, many of which survive to this day, reveal a highly literate, educated society where learning and scholarship were celebrated. In Southern Africa, the Great Zimbabwe civilization flourished between the 11th and 15th centuries. Built with stone walls that still stand, it was a symbol of the region's prosperity, sustained by its control of gold mines and trade with distant lands. The Shona people of Great Zimbabwe were skilled architects and craftsmen, creating a city that represented African ingenuity. Africans leading empires Africa was home to some of the greatest and most diverse empires the world has ever known. In the Kingdom of Benin, located in present-day Nigeria, 
the Edo people built a highly organized society, known for its magnificent bronze sculptures and urban planning. By the 15th century, Binan had become a powerful empire, its influence extending across West Africa. Further west, the Ashanti Empire in modern-day Ghana rose as a dominant force by the 17th century. The Ashanti were skilled warriors and traders, and their society was built on rich traditions of governance, culture, and art. The Ashanti kings, known as the Asantihin, ruled with a sophisticated political system that involved councils and advisors, a model of African governance and diplomacy. In East Africa, Ethiopia, one of the world's oldest civilizations, maintained its independence for centuries. The Ethiopian kings claimed descent from the biblical King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, and their Christian faith, adopted in the 4th century, became a cornerstone of their identity. Under the leadership of Emperor Menelik II, Ethiopia famously defeated Italian forces at the Battle of Adwa in 1896, a victory that resonated throughout Africa and the world as a symbol of African resistance and power. Colonialism and African resistance, as Europe began its colonial expansion in the late 15th century, Africa faced a new threat. The transatlantic slave trade devastated African societies, with millions of Africans forcibly taken to the Americas. Despite this, African resistance never ceased. Kingdoms like Dahomey and the Congo resisted European incursions, using diplomacy and military might to defend their people. The scramble for Africa in the late 19th century saw nearly every African country come under European control, but Africans continued to resist. The Zulu, under the leadership of Shaka Zulu, fiercely resisted British colonization in southern Africa. In West Africa, Samori Tour of the Wasalu Empire fought French colonizers in a series of battles that became legendary. The path to independence, by the 20th century, a new generation of African leaders emerged, determined to throw off the yoke of colonialism. Visionary figures like Kwame Nkrumah in Ghana, Julius Nyerere in Tanzania, and Nelson Mandela in South Africa inspired mass movements for independence. Across the continent, Africans organized strikes, protests, and armed resistance, calling for freedom and self-determination. In West Africa, Nkrumah's call for self-government now echoed throughout the region, leading Ghana to become the first African country to gain independence in 1957. His vision of Pan-Africanism uniting Africa's peoples and nations became a rallying cry for liberation movements from Algeria to Kenya. In Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta led the fight against British rule, while in southern Africa, leaders like Mandela and Robert Mugabe challenged the apartheid system and white minority rule. Independence swept across Africa in the 1960s, with country after country breaking free from colonial domination. By the 1970s, most African nations were independent, though the legacies of colonialism continued to shape their futures. From the dawn of humanity to the fight for independence, Africa's history is a testament to resilience, innovation, and strength. African civilizations have shaped the world through their contributions to culture, trade, science, and governance. And while colonialism left a painful legacy, Africa's people never stopped resisting. And today, the continent stands as a vibrant and diverse powerhouse. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Africa's rich and powerful history. Stay tuned to Noble Black News for more untold stories. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content that matters.